The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there was a mother pig who had three little pigs. The little pigs grew so big that their mother said to them one day, You're too big to live at home any longer. You will have to go and build yourselves your own houses. But be careful that the wolf does not catch you. The three little pigs set off on their way. We will take care that the wolf doesn't catch us, they said. They hadn't travelled very far down the road when they met a man who was carrying some straw. Please could you give me some straw, asked the first little pig. I would like to build a house for myself. Of course I can give you some straw, answered the man and gave the first little pig some straw. The first little pig found a nice place and built himself a house of straw. He was very pleased with his house and said proudly to his brothers, Now the wolf won't catch me. I will build a stronger house for myself, said the second little pig. I will also build a stronger house for myself, continued the third. And so, the two little pigs continued along the road. Soon they came across a man who was carrying sticks. Could I please have some of your sticks? The second little pig asked. I would like to build a house for myself. Of course, here you are, said the man, and gave the second little pig some sticks. So the second little pig built himself a house of sticks. It was stronger than the first little pig's house of straw. Now the wolf won't get me, the second little pig said, well satisfied. I'm going to make an even stronger house for myself, said the third little pig. Then he set out again on the road by himself. After a short while, the third little pig passed a man who had a load of bricks with him. Could you give me some bricks, please? The little pig asked the man. I would like to build a house for myself. Of course, answered the man and gave the third pig some bricks. The third little pig built himself a brick house. It took a long time before the house was finished, but it was a very strong house the third little pig was extremely satisfied. Now the wolf will never get me, he said. The next day, the wolf was walking along the road when he came to the first little pig's house of straw. When the pig saw the wolf coming, he ran into his cottage and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me inside your house. I won't let you in, answered the pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed. and blew the house down. Then the wolf ate the first little pig. The next day, the wolf continued along his way. He came to the house of sticks that had been built by the second little pig. When the second little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside as fast as he could and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me inside your house. I won't let you in, said the pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the wolf. And so he huffed and he puffed. And he blew the house of sticks down. 
Then the wolf ate the second little pig. After resting overnight, the wolf continued walking down the road. He arrived at the house of bricks, which the third little pig had built. When the third little pig saw the wolf coming, he rushed inside and slammed the door shut. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me inside your house. No, I won't let you in, said the little pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed. And he huffed and he puffed. But the house of bricks didn't fall down. The wolf was very angry, but he pretended that he didn't care. He thought to himself, this is a clever little pig. If I want to catch him, I am going to have to pretend that I'm his friend. And so the wolf said to the third little pig, My little piggy, if you are ready tomorrow morning at six o'clock, I will take you to Farmer Smith's fields. We can get some nice turnips for supper. Very well answered the pig. But the third little pig was a clever one. He knew that the wolf just wanted to eat him. The next morning the pig set off at five o'clock for Farmer Smith's fields. He filled his basket with turnips and hurried home before six o'clock. At six o'clock the wolf knocked on the little pig's door. Are you ready to go, little pig? he asked. Oh, I have already been to Farmer Smith's fields, answered the pig. I filled my basket with turnips and they are now cooking for supper. The wolf was very, very angry, but he pretended not to be. Then the wolf said, if you are ready tomorrow morning at five o'clock, I will take you to Farmer John's apple tree. We can fill our baskets with delicious red apples. Very well, agreed the little pig. The next morning, the little pig left at four o'clock. He found Farmer John's apple tree and was sitting up on a high branch picking apples when the wolf arrived. The little pig was very frightened, but pretended to be happy to see the wolf. He said, These apples are very delicious, Mr. Wolf. I will throw you one to taste. The pig threw an apple down, but it rolled away down the road, and the wolf rushed after it. Then the little pig jumped down from the tree and ran home as fast as he could rushed inside and locked the door. Once again the wolf was very angry, but still pretended that he didn't care. He went to the pig's house and knocked on the door. Little pig, he said, if you are ready today in the afternoon around four o'clock, I will take you to the fair. We will have lots of fun on the swings and carousels. Very well, answered the little pig. At two o'clock, the pig left and went to the fair. He had fun swinging on the swings and riding the carousel. Then he bought himself a barrel full of sweets. When the little pig was on his way home, he saw the wolf coming up the hill. The little pig got so scared that he jumped into his barrel of sweets. The barrel started rolling down the hill. It rolled faster and faster. And then it knocked the wolf down. <clears throat> the wolf didn't know what had knocked him down and he ran away scared. The little pig jumped out from his barrel 
and carried it home. The next day, the wolf came again to knock on the little pig's door. Little pig, he said. I could not go to the fair yesterday. Some great big thing came rolling down the hill and knocked me down. Ha ha, laughed the pig. That was me inside my barrel. When the wolf heard this, he became very, very angry indeed. He growled, Little pig, I am going to come and eat you up. I will climb down from your chimney to get you. The pig was terrified, but he said nothing. He just went and put a big pot of water on the fire to boil. The wolf climbed onto the roof. Then he started to come down the chimney. The little pig took the lid off the pot of boiling water. The wolf fell straight into the pot with a big splash. And that was the end of him. The third little pig was much too clever for the wolf. <laughs> <laughs>